If you want to create water splash effects for your miniature basing using resin, here's how. If you like my content, please like and follow. It encourages me to make more videos. I use this pour on gloss I got from a craft store, which is resin. It's one to one equal parts mix. It sort of smells, so a ventilated room is good. Before you start mixing, you're gonna need cotton swabs, some tape, and some containers or cups. Start by unraveling or splitting apart the cotton. Try to make it so it's spaced out, kind of like a spider web that will wrap on top of your containers and tape them to secure them. I found the thinner the cotton is spread, the better the results. It's a tricky process, but this is why you make multiples of them. Once you've done that, it's time to prep the resin. You don't need much in these first few steps, so save some for later. Read your instructions carefully and mind the warning labels. Take a toothpick or even a brush and you want to brush the resin along the cotton. Make different shapes, length, density. Some of these won't be the right shapes, but some of them might turn out to be perfect. So again, this is why you make multiple container setups. I was willing to wait an extra while for them to dry, but I remember it didn't take long, probably because there's such thin layers. It was at this point I began making the water for the base. This will probably take a couple days to dry. I just used tape to make a lip and I had no leaks. Maybe I was lucky, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever done this. Okay, back to the splashes. At this point, you can basically just pull them out and start picking away at the excess cotton threads. You should have something like this, or like this or like these. And now you can start framing your splash effects. I use super glue to stick them on, but feel free to use whatever you think works. Don't worry about the furry strands of cotton, we'll get to those next. Prepare more resin and give another brush to blend in the strands of cotton. I feel at this point you can add whatever effects you wish to make it look awesome. I'm hoping to do more resin splash effects with these, Yoda, Darth Maul, they look like they have so much potential. So look out for those videos, and thanks for watching. Now go make some awesome splashy miniature bases. I know I will.